Hey guys, so I am back with my Ipsy unboxing. Um, this is the July 2021 um, Glam Bag Plus. It did not come in a box this month and I don't know why. Um, I mean, I guess I'm not complaining because then I don't have to take a box out to the dumpster. So let's get started. Everything is just kind of in here. Um, nothing is really like in the bag. So the first thing I'm pulling out, and I will have prices of everything below. Wait a minute, let me see if they put a card in here this month. Okay, there is a card. Okay, it comes with a card, but it's completely useless as usual. Um, there's no pricing. Like, it literally doesn't even have the name of any products on them. Nothing. It's completely useless. Um, I'm really thinking about switching from um, Ipsy to BoxyCharm. I haven't decided yet. So, the first thing is um, these MOTD Cosmetics makeup brushes. Um, now I already have way too many makeup brushes, but I picked these because, um, there was one, oops, there was one in particular that I wanted. I believe it was this one. I don't know. Okay. I don't remember if it was this one or not, but they're gold. I like the feral. Um, I don't remember which one it was. I'll have to like open them all first. Um, there's that one. And then... There's that one. I literally have so many, uh, like five of these brushes. I don't think I've got any of these ones. It's kind of thick. They're really soft though. Um, and then I got this one. Okay, this looked different online. This is the reason, why are the brush, like, okay, the bristles are like twisted. Like they don't go like straight up. That's kind of weird. Um, but yeah, this was actually the reason that I got this brush set and I'm not too impressed. I have so many brushes that are just like this, but there was one in here that I saw that I wanted to use for, um, a highlight. Um, but these don't look how they looked on the app. So I don't know. Honestly, I'll probably see if I can, like, sell these. I don't know. I'll think about it. We'll see. Um, so, yeah. The only thing I like about these is that they're gold. So, there's that. I will leave pricing and everything um, down in the description box below. Okay, this next thing, this was an add-on. Now, I was really hoping to get this product in my box so that I didn't have to pay for it separately and I'm saying that quietly because I don't want my husband to hear that I paid to add something else on in my bag <laughs> anyways um this is the Fenty Beauty um Stunna lip paint I have several um Fenty Beauty lipsticks I have um used the Fenty Beauty Pro Filter foundation I think it was a matte foundation um, she has some really good products. I fell in love with her matte foundation. Um, the lightest shade that they had was actually perfect for my Celtic skin. Um, and I love her lipsticks. Um, I've never tried her lip paints though. This is in the color unattached and this was only $12 to add it on. Like, do you know, whoops, do you know what you would pay at Sephora for this motherfucker? Like, $20, $30 probably. So I'm glad I chose this as an add-on and it's not a sample or a trial size. It's a full size. I will also have the full retail value of this below as well. <clears throat> All right. 
Oh, that is so beautiful. There's what it looks like. It's so pretty. Let me turn this lamp on. I have my phone resting like up against my lamp. Um, so there you go. It's so pretty. Oh my God. I love it. Yes. This, it looked red to be honest with you online, which was why I picked this. It smells like mustard. I don't know why it smells like that. Anyway, um, let's do a little swatchy. I, that brush is very unique. I've never seen a doe foot that's shaped like that. It's almost shaped kind of like a beauty blender. It's weird. Um, that's interesting. Okay. Okay, this is like, yeah, online on the Ipsy app. I got this because I was thinking it was going to be more of like a hot pink. I'm trying to get a good image of that there we go it's just more of like a. I mean it looked more red online which was why I got it because um I do not have any red lipsticks um because there was a choice between what looked like a fire engine red and then like a hot pink uh, so I chose the red so that's what I was expecting but nevertheless it is still beautiful and it's gonna look so pretty sitting on my bathroom counter okay Next is from Il Maquillage. This is the Black Card Waterproof Liquid Eyeliner. What did I just say yesterday in my maternity haul? <sighs> Ipsy is always sending out um, things that are just going to pile up in my little stockpile. And I'm not going to get to this for like a year or two. Because right now I'm using my Tarte. And then I have another one after my Tarte that I have to use up. So anyways, here's that. I'm assuming, I don't even know if I'm going to swatch this or not. It's a black eyeliner. The fuck do you expect? Like, it's nothing special. Um, Il Maquillage Black Card. There we go. Felt tip. And it's pitch black as expected. Um, I do like that it's got like a fine tip on it. You would really have to like press it down to get a thick line. It's much much easier just to kind of do a thin line. But yeah, that is uh, pitch black. So typical. That will go in my stockpile. Um, you'll have to give me a minute once I upload this video. I'm probably going to eat dinner first and then I will research prices on everything and have them ready for you below. This is from Glow on Fifth Beauty. This is the Keep It Handy Aloe Hand Cream. And I would totally try this if I did not just put wet swatches on my hand. Um, I really need like a body lotion. I need to hit up Victoria's Secret soon, I think, because I'm completely out of body lotion. Um, I have a hand lotion in my purse. And I'm still using up from Ipsy like two years ago. It's like an orange blossom hand lotion. Still trying to use that shit up. So there's that. When I first saw this in the bag, I thought it was um, Dolce & Gabbana's um, light blue perfume at first. Because like the box is almost the same. Okay. So there is that. And let's take this silver thingy off. This will be stockpiled as well until I get done with my current, um, what do you call it? My current hand lotion in my purse. It's pretty thin. A little bit seems to go a long way. I just got a light smell. So they don't really smell like much. There's no special scent, so it's all right. I guess it'll get the job done. And then I just kind of have the bag here with nothing in it. Does it say stay golden? Okay, no lie, I do really like this. That would be a pretty tattoo. Um, that'd be a bomb tattoo, okay. Two more things. Next, oh my god, this is so expensive, you guys. 
This is the 111 Skin um, Three Phase Anti Blemish Booster, and it is a serum. Um, it's a clarity serum. Um, so this unique three phase formula combines a powerful combination of ingredients to target blemish prone skin before, during, and after a breakout. Rich in sebum balancing and skin conditioning actives, a concentrated dose helps calm congested skin while reducing the appearance of scarring. Yes, I needed this. Okay. Um, this brand is hella expensive. There is, I'm noticing right off the bat, at the very bottom of that list is fragrance. <sighs> it doesn't matter if it's in a cleanser, a toner, a moisturizer, a serum, an SPF. Fragrance will break me out. But I love this brand. I get this brand often in Ipsy. It is a very expensive brand. This is probably about $130 and it's a full size. Everything is full size. Um, so, I'll try it. I'm not gonna knock it. I'll try it. I will. Oh, that is very fragrance. Unless that's like a natural fragrance, I'm gonna be honest with you, it smells kind of like, it smells kind of like my husband's cologne. It just smells like my husband's cologne. It's, it, it Literally, it smells like his cologne. Um, oh my God. Now I'm really scared to use this. Unless this fragrance is just, na it like occurs naturally in some of the ingredients in here. Water, glycerin, those are fragrance free. Cellulose gum, butyl, avocadate, benzoyl, alcohol, that's fragrance free, it's an alcohol smell. Vital sulfur. Okay, sulfur's got fragrance in it. Um, white willow bark extract. That might be it. Salicylic acid, polysorbate 20, horse chestnut seed extract, sodium ascorbyl phosphate, kojic acid, colloidal silver. Okay, there's a couple things in here that I could chalk this fragrance up to. Um, we'll see. I'll test it for just a few days. And if I notice right away that it's starting to break me out, I will just stop using it. And last but not least, I have been so excited. I've been waiting to get this. This is the, mainly because um, I just used up the last little bit of my face wash today. This is the um, Dr. Brandt Pores No More Pore Purifying Cleanser. Yay! So I can wash my face with this tonight. Pretty much everything else is gonna go in a stockpile except my Fenty Beauty. This is gonna go directly on the bathroom counter. I have actually already got a spot cleared off for her, so yes. So, um, I wonder if this has a scent. Oh, there's a thing I want it. Um, I've been using the CeraVe Acne Foaming Cleanser. Oh my God. And that shit is fucking amazing. Um, it's been working really well for my acne. Um, that just went up my nose. Okay. Don't do that. It smells like, it smells like peppermint. So yeah, there's that. Um, all prices will be listed below if you'll excuse me. I'm going to go um, try to get this out of my nose now. All prices will be listed below um, of everything. Everything was full size. I would want to give this box a full thumbs up, two thumbs up, but these two products, okay, I mean, granted, I did pick this, but seriously, like, the shape of the brushes on their website is not what these are shaped like. Like, they honestly look completely different, the brush heads themselves. And another black liquid eyeliner, come the fuck on, Ipsy. I'm about to go to BoxyCharm. This is ridiculous. Well, I might stick around for next month because Halsey is um, doing a curated box with Ipsy next month. So I don't know. We'll see. Anyways, um, other than these two products, this box, two thumbs up for the cleanser, the acne serum, the Fenty, even though this was an add-on. What else did I get? 
Y'all, I'm tripping. Hold on. Where's my, um, oh, here it is. It was high under my foot. Um, so yeah, other than, other than these two, it was a big thumbs up for me. So, um, yeah, like I said, just give me like an hour or so and I will list all the prices for you down below. And with that said, I will close out for now and I will see you guys hopefully later this week as soon as I get my shipment in of maternity clothes from Old Navy. We'll have a haul coming up then. So, yeah, I will see y'all later. Bye.